Milwaukee Brewers 2011 MVP Ryan Braun is the latest Major League Baseball to run afoul of anti-doping enforcement. He has been suspended for the rest of the year over his admitted use of performance enhancing substances and involvement with the biogenesis lab run by Anthony Bosch. The question now is whether more cases might be coming. Daniel Barbarisi writes that Yankees are now concerned about their star third baseman Alex Rodriguez for his ties to biogenesis. Good morning, Dan. Good morning. So um, t give us the latest. First of all, what, was the, what is the situation with Braun? Yeah, huge developments yesterday in baseball. Where Braun accepted a suspension for the rest of the season uh, for his involvement with the biogenesis clinic and essentially for PED use, which was a monumental development. He's been fighting this in one way or another for two years and saying that he's clean and never did anything. And now he completely about faces, says he has, quote unquote, made mistakes. He's accepting a suspension in violation of the drug policy and he's done for the year. Um, that really indicates that there's going to be more coming and everybody now is pointing to the other big fish in this investigation, that being the Yankees' Alex Rodriguez as the likely next to go. Now, um, you know, we've had um, a lot of Yankees players themselves come out in support of, of A-Rod. Um, <clears throat> you know, are they kind of just accepting that, that this is the end for him? Yeah, it's interesting. I think they're kind of trying to walk on both sides of the line here by saying, you know, we support him as our brother in arms and all that. But at the same time, we think that all the cheaters or potential cheaters should be punished to the fullest extent of the law. So, you know... It, there is a weird little code in baseball where they do want to support their guys and they do want to stay close to them, but they also recognize uh, they have to ferret out the cheats and uh, and get this dealt with. So um, the Yankees, I think they they do recognize that something could be coming down the pike. They're not blind to this. They watch TV just like everybody else. Um, but they, they, I think, certainly know that something could be coming very, very soon with Alex, and they're stealing themselves for that. I think we have a quote from Andy Pettit to show up on the screen just to give you an indication of some of the comments that are coming through. We're going to back him up, he says, where his teammates is no doubt, but if he did something wrong, you have to be punished for it, but I'll still back him up. I'm still going to love him because I built the relationship with him. He's a teammate of mine. He just wished nothing but the best for him. So there you have it, a, a big uh, vote of confidence in him, but there is a certain tone of resignation to it. Um, do you think uh, Rodriguez has actually played his last game as a Yankee in this case? Well, he's got such a huge contract with the Yankees running through 2018 that even if he gets a suspension for the rest of this year and, say, even next year, he could stay under contract for quite some time. So I'm going to say we haven't seen the last of A-Rod yet, but uh, it's much more likely than it was a couple of days ago, certainly, uh, that we'll never see him in a Yankee uniform again, which is an amazing possibility considering they still owe him $100 million on that contract, and it seemed like any kind of divorce between the two was going to be a very difficult thing to achieve only a little while ago. But now with Braun gone for the year and A-Rod turning 38 years old this, this week, I believe, anything's possible. Indeed it is, Dan. Thank you very much for your time.